If you're like most people, you know that the perfect landscape starts with a healthy, lush lawn. But from there, you'll logically want to move beyond the grass to the plants that surround it to make sure that they'll create the space that really reflects who you are and sets the stage for how you and your family want to live outside. So in today's Done in a Weekend project, I'm going to focus on the selection and the installation of plant material, which is a logical next step for anyone who's wanting to create that dream outdoor space. So let's get started. First, you need to select the plant material that's best suited for the specific growing conditions where you'll be landscaping. And remember, these conditions change as you move around your yard, particularly the sun exposure. You also need to make sure to choose the right size plants for the space that you're working with. And this can be tricky since the plants that you're planting today are much smaller than they will be when they mature. It's for these reasons, the growing conditions and plant size, that it's really important that you read the labels. The information you'll find there is critical in knowing if you have the right plant for the right space. From a design perspective, try and think in terms of texture, layers, and drifts. When addressing the overall texture of your planting beds, try to choose plants that vary in form, size, color, and leaf structure. This will create greater interest and make your space much more appealing visually and enjoyable to hang out in. When considering the composition of your planting beds, where space allows, think in terms of layers. In other words, like in a painting, you should have a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. Your background layer should consist of the taller evergreen shrubs so that no matter what's happening in front of them, you will always have something alive and green to look at. The middle ground layer should be lower than the background layer and is also where you can add greater interest with a contrasting evergreen shrub, or perhaps a pop of color in life with a perennial shrub. Then finally, the foreground layer should help transition the planting beds to your lawn space. And you can do that with smaller perennials, evergreens, annuals, or even creeping ground covers. If you approach your landscape beds with layers in mind, I think you'll create that lush look that you're probably going for. Now don't plant your plants like we did here with plants right on top of each other. We only did this to show you that you really need to think about a background layer, a middle ground layer, and a foreground layer. Instead, you should place your plants so that as they mature, they grow together as drifts versus a bunch of individual plants. This is another reason why it's critical that you read the labels to make sure that you space your plants appropriately, making sure that when they're full grown, they aren't overcrowded, nor they space too far apart, but just right. When installing a plant, first begin by digging a hole that's about two times the diameter and as deep as the pot itself. Then give your plant what it needs to thrive by mending in some organic material that you'll find in any compost or soil conditioner. And if you'd like, you can add some slow release fertilizer, but make sure you just mix all that together. Place the plant in the hole, making sure that it sits at or just above the level that it did in the pot. And this may take a few tries. Then backfill with soil, stopping to add water when it's about halfway full. Fill the rest of the hole and then firmly press down. Soak with more water and finally, finish by adding mulch, making sure to pull it away from the base of the plant. So I hope these project tips have given you the inspiration and the know-how that you'll need to choose and install plant material so that you and your family will have years and years of beauty and enjoyment outside. Make sure to check out wearexmark.com for more Done in a Weekend project ideas.